Hey there, welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary, and today we're gonna to be talking about my spring capsule wardrobe. With each new season, I like to really take stock of my wardrobe. What I already have on hand that is from the previous season, and what is still working, what's maybe not working, are there any holes that I need to fill, you know, holes meaning items that I can mix and match with pieces that I already have, and just really, get excited about the clothes that I'm going to be wearing for that season and make getting ready in the morning so easy. So we are heading into spring. Today it is, I think, 30 degrees, super windy. There were some flurries, and then we'll have days that swing up to 70 degrees and it's gorgeous outside. There are just so many variables that I kinda need pieces for, so I think I have my number is somewhere around 20 core pieces and then I have a few extras if you want to call them outerwear pieces and just pieces that I wouldn't wear as often. Doesn't matter how many pieces you have, I think what matters is that you have a capsule that works for you and you have clothing to wear that you're excited to wear. So I want to just briefly go over what is in my capsule, what I plan to be wearing this spring, a few of my extras, and then I'm gonna share with you a week of outfits, what I actually wore this past week, so that you can see them kind of in action, see how they fit into our lifestyle and kind of what we were doing the days that I was wearing the pieces. So right now in my spring capsule, I have five pairs of bottoms, which is actually a lot for me. Typically in years past, I would have probably two bottoms. I would have some sort of a blue jean and a black jean. And then I have about 14 different top options. And that kind of seems like a lot, but again, it's a mix of some long sleeves, some sweaters, and then some shorter sleeved or sleeve less. And again, it's just so that I can have variety for whatever the temperature may be. So I know we have Easter coming up, so I do have these two dresses kind of as my Easter options. But again, it really depends on what the temperature is that day or any event that may be coming up. If it is warm enough to wear a dress, I do have some dress options, but on a typical day-to-day -day basis, I'm really sticking with tops and bottoms. Now, as far as some extras in my wardrobe, I do have things like these. These are just some sort of linen-y, cotton-y button-downs, but I kind of wear these as like a cardigan, if you will, just if I need an extra layer, or I can just wear them as a shirt all on their own, but they're not something that I would probably pull from even once a week. That's kind of the same concept with these two tops. I have this gingham button down, and then this is just a simple, uh, you know, striped t-shirt. I don't wear a ton of t-shirts like this. I do have that as an option. And then I have this red and white, sort of boat neck, three quarter length shirt, and I really do love it. You know, you get those little holes right at like your, you know, pant button area. So this is something that I would like to replace, but I want to kind of just live with the capsule that I have, because I don't really feel like I need more tops. I just really love a classic striped shirt. So I'm just gonna kind of live with my capsule and see if that's something that I do feel like I want to replace. These trousers are another sort of backup item for me. It's not something that I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I thrifted them, but I have not worn them yet. They're a little bit too long on me, so they actually do need to be tailored. So that has kind of held me back from wearing them as well. But I think it's a great piece. They're a fun, kind of something different for me, but I'm not gonna include it in my core collection. So this is kind of an extra item as well. It's just a simple white cardigan, something that again, I could wear for Easter or throw on with a dress. And then a couple of outerwear pieces. I have had this utility jacket for maybe eight, nine years now, and it's great. I feel like it is always something that I can pull for if I need a little lightweight jacket. And then I do have this pretty awesome blazer that I thrifted. I have worn it before, 
but again not something i'm wearing on a regular basis so it'll just be like an extra as far as shoes i do have four go-to options so right now i am still wearing my leather booties because it is still cool during the day so those are definitely still in rotation i have a new pair of nude flats i love a ballet flat so i also have them in a leopard print which to me is basically a neutral i love a little animal print shoe i think it's so classic and then i also have a pair Pair of Sperry boat shoes which again are a good option if it is still a little cool or if it is a little rainy all right so with all that said let's jump into a week of outfits today is Sunday we actually just got back home from church it was a little bit cooler today it was like only in the 50s so still in shirts and pants but as soon as it gets warmer out I will switch to dresses, but I just have this white uniglow three-quarter length shirt tucked into these navy blue Bowden cords. Corduroy is kind of kind of phasing it out of my wardrobe as the weather gets warmer. But these were great. I found them at a thrift store. And then my Sam Edelman cognac flats that really do need to be replaced and I think I might need a new pair for the season. Uh, but that is my outfit for today. We are going to pack up a picnic lunch and head to the park in a little bit. We wanna get out and get some fresh air, get a little movement. I will switch into some sneakers when we go out to the park, but otherwise the outfit will stay the same. And so I'm just working on laundry now and we need to kind of put the house back in order. We had a birthday party yesterday, so we need to just kind of clean up from that and kind of just reset the house. But that is what we're doing today and this is what I'll be wearing. It is Monday. I am wearing this black and white striped shirt and my classic straight jeans and again my cognac flats which I actually did replace I did wind up finally ordering a new pair so I went to order them and they were about $20 more for the brown cognac color versus like a nude color and I thought you know what why not save 20 bucks and go with the nude do something a little bit different it's still a neutral and so I ordered them but they're gonna take a little while to get here it's still cool enough that I want flats that I'm not ready to like switch over to sandals yet it's great to have that as an option so i'm gonna pop out with the boys for a little bit run some errands and then just come back home and probably stay around the house i just baked some or didn't bake i made some no bake like cookie dough bars which i am super excited about they have sugar in it but it's all natural sugar from dates and maple syrup and they just look phenomenal and i'm gonna top them with chocolate and I can't wait to have one. So that was what I did this morning, but my kids are doing soccer this spring, so I just wanna go to a thrift store, like a kid's consignment store near us, and see if I can find just some like soccer shorts or like capri pants or something. So that's on my agenda for the day, on top of normal housekeeping and dinner making and all that. So that is our Monday, and this is what I'm wearing. It is Tuesday and today I am wearing this little like window pane top from Old Navy and my black skinny jeans which really need to be replaced. I think this is my last season with them and then I'll probably phase them out of my wardrobe. We're in that weird time of spring where it's sunny and it is kind of warm but there's still like those really cool breezes so I have my booties still you know I'm still using the booties these days but keeping the top sleeveless kind of balances it a little bit and then I am going to go out right now so I'm throwing on this little cropped like little jacket that I have had for so long my parents gave this to me as a birthday present maybe 10 years ago or longer and I still love it it's from the loft it's like so classic I love the little buttons on it it's perfect. We are running out right now and then we'll be home for a little while and then we'll go back out and do school pickup. And I have a Walmart grocery pickup that I'm gonna do, just, you know, swing through, park, pick it up. It's the greatest thing ever. So that's it, we're gonna head out right now. I have my bag that is now all freshly cleaned. I did a video all about my purse, um, like deep clean and organization. This is what I'm doing on a Tuesday and this is what I'm wearing. It is now Wednesday and I am wearing this navy blue top from Land's End. I got this two years ago, I think. I had it in navy and in red and I just really prefer the navy. I wear it way more often. And then I paired it with these white 
are sort of cream colored jeans and these are new i actually got them when i went to that consignment store i forgot that they had adult clothing as well and because it's upstairs i usually don't go there and luke want, really wanted to go upstairs so we went up and i had actually been wanting to add some cream colored pants to my wardrobe because it's something different i don't think i've ever had them and they are kind of I don't know, I guess they're classic, but they're also trendy. It's like one of those things. So these were $12. They're a little bit loose, just slightly, for, you know, thrift store pants, secondhand pants, to have them fit pretty well. I'm happy about that. And then I have this outfit paired with my leopard flats. These were thrifted, but they were brand new from, I forget where, Banana Republic. They were brand new, unworn, but I did get them secondhand. We're gonna run out and do a it's sort of like a farm co-op pickup, which I have done before, but it's been a while. So we're gonna pick up some meat and cheese and some raw milk, which I have never had ever. And I've just been so intrigued to try it and probably just be home for the day. So that's what we're doing. And this is what I'm wearing. It's Wednesday. It's actually later in the afternoon now. Uh, kids are all home and we've just had a rainy day. So it was actually pretty cool. Like, in the low 40s and rainy and very cold today. So I just have on a long sleeve V-neck uh, Land's End shirt and this it's like all cotton cream knit sweater that I got from ThreadUp um, like a while ago, back in the fall time, I think I got it. And this has definitely been a go-to piece for me when I just need a little bit extra warmth, you know, in this spring season, just a nice layering piece for me. And then still those same J. Crew. Uh, just classic jeans. Stopped and picked up my Bible study notebook from a woman in my study. She graciously picked them up for me and then I just picked them up from her. So did that this morning, just kind of a lot of driving around today and just kind of being in the rain. Um, so just dressing for warmth, dressing for comfort. That was pretty much our day and this is what I was wearing. Today is Friday. We are all home today or we were all home it's actually pretty late it's already like 5 p.m pretty sure there's some sort of food on my shirt somewhere we've had quite a day mm, baby's crying um we have a couple sick kids at home so uh, it's just been kind of you know basically running around the house taking care of everybody today um i did this morning order groceries so i was able to just get the fridge a little bit cleaned out this morning before everything came. I like to just like, if there's any, you know, Tupperwares that are left over that need to be emptied, I'll empty that out and just wipe down any shelves if something is like particularly messy. Sometimes I'll just wipe it, but if it really needs like a good deep clean, I'll take it out and wipe it down. So we got the fridge restocked and, you know, ready to go for the next couple weeks. And I made a loaf of this basically like keto French toast, which I'm not really keto, but I have been experimenting a lot with like different wheatless like options. And this recipe is really good. I'll link it down below. It's a lot of eggs, it's cream cheese. It makes like a pretty bread-like loaf and then you can slice it up and like fry it like French toast. And it's really good. This is the second time I've made it. So that's pretty much what I've done today. And I just made a big pot of soup for dinner, but otherwise just, have been hanging around the house and this is what I've been wearing. Just this cute little flutter sleeved uh, t-shirt basically. It's from Forever 21 originally. And these dark blue Land's End jeans. But I'm gonna go tend to a crying baby and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. I'm so excited. My shoes actually did wind up coming today. They weren't supposed to get here until the middle of April. And so that was really quick. I wasn't expecting them so soon. I'm a size seven, so I always get the seven. I feel like it's very true to, true to size. So I can link that down below. They come in like, I don't even know, 20 different colors. So here's how they look on. They're very comfortable. They will stretch out a little bit. They're a little tight, but I know that they're going to loosen up. So yeah, very happy with those. It is Saturday now. I am wearing this floral top from Old Navy that I got recently off of ThreadUp and my J. Crew jeans that I've worn a few times this week already. And around the house, I typically just wear like house slippers basically, these like knockoff Birkenstocks. Uh, but if I were to be going out, I would put on my new flats that I got yesterday. 
but we are going to be home we have been home today still kids are you know on the up and up so we aren't gonna be going anywhere it's just been a lot of running around the house today cleaning laundry um we had a family movie night last night so i didn't finish doing like dishes and stuff so i got all that cleaned up um earlier today and then i started working on my bible study i had you know there's a couple lessons i have to do so i'm not done yet but i kind of have to break it up throughout the day so that i can get it done but that is basically our day we're just going to be home and this is what i'll be wearing i had no reason to get dressed and get myself ready other than it just makes me feel better makes me feel ready for the day but after yesterday being home all day i just felt like being you know getting myself a little bit put together for dinner tonight i made homemade naan which i've never made before it was pretty simple just let it rise for a little while and then rolled it out and cooked them in a pan and we made some curry to go with it and homemade tzatziki which is like my favorite thing ever and just some veggies and it was so so good all right, so it is Sunday and it is the end of my week of outfits. And to be honest, this is not how I hoped that the week would end. I was hoping to have some sort of, you know, nicer church outfit on today. But to be perfectly honest, this is what I've been wearing all day. Everyone's better, but we just didn't want to risk it and bring them to church and Sunday school. So we just took the day and stayed home. We haven't had a full, like, family day where we just stayed home and pretty much did nothing all day and had no plans and nowhere to go so it was actually pretty nice you know in all things considered um we had a really nice breakfast together and then we actually spent a long time planning out our summer vacation we want to go back to cape cod and we did book a couple things so i'm just very excited about that and yeah I, to be honest i just never you know really got ready for the day it's very rare that i stay in like lounge clothes i just i prefer to like get ready for the day even if we really aren't doing anything so it's kind of very out of the ordinary for me to even be doing this but given the circumstances it just that's how it panned out today i hope you all enjoyed seeing a week of outfits and my spring capsule i'm very happy with this collection i think it's really going to carry me through this spring season and then again as we head into summer i can update some pieces and move into more dresses and sandals and things like that and that is just my easiest capsule by far because it's like a one-piece outfit put on some shoes and you're good to go but spring is still fun. I love bringing in these florals and these lighter colors as the temperatures slowly get warmer. So thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe, and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care, guys.